You may be wondering how this happened. I believe that the likely cause for why JB didn't get much better was because there were too many staff caring for him and certain bits of information may have gotten lost in translation. There were five staff that were involved in his care, a day shift RN, a night shift RN, his MD, his radiologist, and his pharmacist. The day shift RN stated that JB only had mild abdominal pain while under their care and they gave him the medication that was prescribed by his MD. The night shift RN observed that JB had significantly more pain, low oxygen levels, and had a difficult time sleeping, so they gave him various different medication to help him and took him to the radiology department per the MD's orders. JB's radiologist claims they were short-staffed that night, which is why he took long to get to JB, who had unknowingly had an oxygen tank that was nearly empty. His MD states that when the nurse called her, she seemed hurried, and that's why she ordered the pain medication, the oxygen tank, and the CT scan. A few hours later, she gets to call that JB was found clinically dead, and she helped resuscitate him. The pharmacist also stated that they were short-staffed at night and partially blamed the nurses for the medications not being reconciled.